Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 11 of the Preset 6 Challenge. So my husband and I are out doing grocery shopping this morning. My husband, uh, my mom is at home watching the kiddos. Um, so because we're out, it's not exactly super convenient for eating purposes, um, but I'm still doing the eating. Um, well, actually, it's 9.30, but I'm going to eat now because I'm hungry. And that's okay. It'll be fine. I'm still going to eat between, um, well, like at 5 o'clock when it's time for supper. But what? Look at the van. Uh -huh. Squished. <laughs> the bumper. Oh, nice. <laughs> Anyways, so I brought two pieces of toast with me. Today is a toast and eggy tofu and um, fruit and cucumber day. So I'm not eating a lot of that. I'm eating um, some toast. I brought two pieces of toast with me. There's nothing on it. And um, I got a container of rainier cherries at the um, grocery store. They are only $1.99. Uh, a pound at the Asian grocery store, which is really awesome because I love them and you can only get them for such a short amount of time that you gotta get a ton of them when you can. So, um, we are going to make a southwestern salad. Today's a salad day for supper tonight and I'm really looking forward to that. I think it'll be delicious. Um, but more on that later. We're gonna go do some shopping and we will exercise tonight. So, I'll see you guys for some food later on. Alrighty guys, so we are home and shopping is done for the day and it is now time to um, have some supper. So I have to admit, I did have a snack in the middle. Um, so I ate at like 9.30 and then I was ridiculously hungry at about two. So I had three mini cucumbers, you know, those little skinny ones, mini ones, and um, a handful of plantain chips, which the plantain chips really are very not healthy for you, but um, they were delicious. And um, the cucumbers were also actually very tasty. So I just thought I would let you guys know I, I did have a little snack in the middle, but no snacking. Oops, but I was really hungry. <laughs> so making a Southwestern salad. Um, I am making the Southwestern part of this obviously is gonna be the typical, it's got black beans, it's got um, yellow corn. The sauce is going to be two different things. A taco sauce, just straight up taco sauce, a little bit of that across the top. And then I'm making an avocado sauce um, and this is, specifically like an avocado sauce. I don't, I will attach where I found it in the description box. I don't actually remember where it's from at this point, to be honest with you, I apologize for that. Um, but it'll be in the description box below if you want to go take a look at it. I'm just going to make um, an avocado sauce to put over the top. I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. And we're gonna do the whole build your own salad thing. So I'm gonna have stuff lined up down the counter. So we've got um, a spring mix salad and then I've got a bunch of stuff chopped up. So I've got peppers of different kinds, um, an onion, got some tomatoes chopped up, some cilantro for my husband and my one son who can eat it and who actually likes it. Um, there's black beans and yellow corn, um, and then the lettuce obviously, and then um, some chips from um, Trader Joe's. So you're supposed to be able to have, with salad night, you're supposed to be able to have bread and cheese and hummus. Um, I'm not going to have any of those three things, but I am going to have a few chips with my salad. Just break them up and eat, eat them on top of the salad. I think it's going to be very tasty. So let's make some sauce. All right, so already I have in here one avocado. I'm doubling this recipe. I've got an avocado and a cup of water. The next thing that you put in there is one half cup of whatever milk it is that you're going to use. So I'm going to just use regular unsweetened soy milk. This sauce is, is supposed to have cilantro in it. Um, just to let you guys know, I am not putting cilantro in it. Um, but if you like cilantro, it's supposed to have one cup of cilantro in it as well if you're doubling it. So to double this, you would need a whole teaspoon of cumin. I'm actually still just going to use half a teaspoon because I don't really care for cumin very much. Um, so, But that is part of what gives it the Southwestern flair. I have four tablespoons of organic lime juice. This is a lot fuller than I expected it to be. I should've used a bigger container. And then it's um, one clove, actually two cloves of garlic, which I'm just gonna put some garlic in there. And um, two teaspoons of maple syrup, which we'll just use this little half guy. One, two. So that is actually going to make the avocado sauce. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I will take a look again quick before I come back and tell you to taste this for you, but I'm pretty sure that was it. That was all that was in there. There's salt, but I'm leaving that out. So I'm going to go and blend this, 
put my salad together to show you guys and I will taste the sauce to let you know whether it's something you guys should um, try and see if you like it. Um, I'll let you know what it tastes like. So I'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes. All right guys, so this stuff is actually really good. Um, actually, I think we come over and taste it and tell me what you think. Um, it's very lemony, I mean limey, and it's very, um, got a lot of cumin going on. Uh, I mean, it's a lot to me because I, I'm not a huge cumin fan, but I think that you guys will actually like it if you like Mexican flavor and stuff. Um, that's really good. So, you like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's not, that. yep, that's real good. I bet you that you guys will really like that. You really should try and make that. It was very, very easy. Here is my salad. All my beautiful vegetables and a little bit of the avocado sauce and um, some taco sauce on it. Super, super, super excited. Um, yeah, definitely make the avocado sauce if you're making yourself something Mexican. And obviously, just cut the recipe in half. I didn't need to make a double recipe. I purposely made a double recipe because I didn't want half of an avocado sitting in the refrigerator. However, now I've got a whole lot of avocado sauce. So, yeah. <laughs> Way more than I need. But that's okay. We'll figure something to do with it. My husband will probably eat that just with chips, to be honest with you. Because it is it is quite tasty. Alright, so I'm going to go finish putting some food together for everybody. Um, actually, it's kind of a build-your-own salad evening so we're gonna everybody's gonna make their own salad and um i'll see you guys in a little while for some exercise i'm super excited about my food all right guys so it is exercise time and wait till you see this craziness we got going on all right so obviously we're doing leg exercises today and the first two when I mean, the goblet squats are fine we'll take care of that the lunges are not fine because i'm gonna be sore for days afterwards but okay that's fine and then this bottom one is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So like this single leg deadlift thing, I don't know what that's about at all. So we're probably gonna end up watching um, some kind of a YouTube video-ish or something to try and figure out how to do this because I don't know how to do this. Um, and the calf raises should be pretty straightforward. Um, they're getting us more and more of the calf raises as they go, but that's okay. Anyways, we're gonna exercise and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so we're done exercising. So on the goblet squats, did 15 pounds, and on the lunges did five, because I'm a complete wuss, but I am actually getting form down fairly well. Uh, not as low as you could possibly go to the ground, but I am, I could definitely feel like I'm doing a better job with the lunges now than I was before. Um, those dead, single leg deadlifts are kind of amusing. Uh, watch a YouTube video before you try and do those. Um, I did 15 pounds on that one. And the calf raises, I also did 15 pounds. So uh, weight-wise, it was pretty consistent, 15 or five on the lunges, because I'm a wuss. But um, yeah, my legs are feeling it, for sure. Um, definitely towards the end, I was starting to feel it, for sure. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I am done for the day, guys. I have been up actually since two o'clock this morning, because I couldn't sleep, and I'm getting very, very tired. So I'm gonna go help my husband clean up the kitchen, and Oh, he says I'm going to bed. I'm going to go help him clean up the kitchen, even though he says I'm going to bed. <laughs> and then I am going to go to bed because I am super tired. So I will see you guys again tomorrow and I hope you have a good one.